Folks in the house, how's everybody doing on a Monday? I'm kind of getting a kick out of doing my videos uh, a few days in a row here, so people are going to be behind on uh, watching videos for me on YouTube. Um, getting caught up a little bit, uh, movie-wise, and tonight ends up being a topic. I'm uh, going to be doing uh, spy movies. Uh, I was going through my list, and I was like, for what I've watched recently... And a couple of movies I think are repeats, but I'm fine with that. And, uh, but yeah, I got a topic of spy movies. And then also I went to the dollar store because I basically had to um, mail some bills and uh, decided to get some items and go over those. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's see. Start off with a couple movies and then we'll go into the. Dollar Tree uh, items I bought. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> Just thinking on how to do this. Um, yeah, we'll go with the movie I streamed first, uh, Erased. Uh, and I think it's the Expatriate uh, is uh, another version that they call it. But Erased 2012, Aaron Eckhart. Uh, he's in this. Uh, basically, the CIA is trying to get rid of him, and he has to go on a run with his daughter. And uh, not a bad movie. I think it got a 6.1 if I have right for all the movies are above six for what I'm I, what I watched. So kind of good on that. Uh, that a movie I almost was these kind of almost it's like you spin it a little. You know, it's like eh, somebody looked at the movie and said, eh, we could do this instead. Uh, next one is Pierce Bronson and uh, November Man. Uh, kind of a, you know, seeing Pierce kind of in a James Bond kind of role. Uh, he's a ex-CIA uh, that uh, is dealing with a, a Russian uh, agent. Um, and there's storyline on it. I try not to go into it, but uh, that movie I think was a 6.4. And uh, decent, uh, worth watching. And uh, yeah, the way it is, I'm going to stop at those two and then go over some of the items that uh, I bought at the Dollar Tree. And I want to kind of get uh, uh, last movie that I watched. My other ones are going to be. So uh, first is, I went with Polar Cream Soda. Uh, for a buck, a liter bottle. And I did try it before, um, and I put ice cubes in it to get it cold. And it just doesn't, for a cream soda, it's weak. So I don't recommend uh, Polar Cream Soda. Uh, what's the name of it? They don't say the company. I guess I'd have to look at Polar Beverages. That's what it is. Um, but yeah, they're just better cream soda out there. Uh, next, uh, something that got me is the bag has shrunk. Uh, this It's eight, eight ounces. I'm going to say definitely it was a 10 ounce bag, but I almost want to say it was bigger than that. But yes, the uh, shelled peanuts have uh, shrunk. Uh, definitely. Uh, so, not the buy it used to be. Um, and then I'm going to be making this later after I've done, I'm going to watch a movie, is going with my uh, making popcorn on the stove. Um, and I think this is about the same, uh, basically a pound and four ounces. Uh, this will hold you off for uh, if you're looking for a snack. Um, so that, and then I came across these. I, I opened them. I haven't had them. I just opened them. It is soft baked cookies by uh, Pillsbury butterscotch and chocolate chip. So I don't know if this is kind of a it didn't work out and it ends up at the dollar store or they're test marketing it.
you get more of the butterscotch over the chocolate chip, which I'm fine with. Uh, for a buck, decent. Um, basically, it's a full sleeve of cookies. So, I mean, this is the bag, not open, so that tells you decent size. Yeah, so I'm promoting it properly. So that's that. So yeah, um, yeah. For some reason, with the prices going crazy and stuff, it's like, you know what? I'm gonna start sharing. You know, if I find some deals or something, um, they say my mom said that, I guess, in the beginning, next year, Dollar Tree, I guess, is, she made it sound like it's going to be items $5, so uh, no more, like, just for a dollar, uh, to give you that heads up. Yeah, not impressed with the cream soda. That's a one and done. I <laughs> may end up just finishing it to get rid of it tonight. Uh, it's a liter soda, but uh, nothing extra. And so that is my uh, shopping at the dollar store for snacks. Um, but definitely the soft baked cookies. Uh, if you like butterscotch, yeah, it's worth the. I eat another one. I shouldn't do this, but. Hmm. It is good, and uh, yeah. Like I say, it doesn't, it has more butterscotch than chocolate chip taste. Maybe the cookie will help the soda. <laughs> so thanks there. Um, yeah, I try and like I say, change it up a little bit on my video. And then the remaining three movies. Um, first one, Three Days to Kill, uh, basically a spy uh, is just looking to retire because he's got terminal illness and he wants to kind of get back with his daughter and wife, um, good, uh, Kevin Costner, uh, and did I give the years on these, sorry about that, uh, 2014, November Man was 2014 also. So again, uh, if you're looking for some spy movies, definitely all of the ones I'm about to uh, that I'm going through it are decent worth watching. I'm throwing this in and uh, Hunt for Red October, Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin. Uh, again, basically uh, a Russian defecting and trying to you know steal a sub. Good cat and mouse movie. Some good lines in it. Um, I think this has got the most rating, I think. And then uh, my one of my favorite movies that uh, I've enjoyed is uh, Three Days of the Condor with Robert Redford, 1975. And if anybody is willing to watch a spy movie and take into the count, this is 1975, and how the story develops, if that cannot be related to today. That's what this movie, from 1975 to 2021, this movie kind of has a little, the ending kind of, you, you have to watch the whole movie to piece it together, but if you want to watch the last 15 minutes, you'll understand, last 10 minutes, that closing scene, that's just what's explained, um, kind of gives you a conspiracy theory kind of scenario, but interesting. All uh, five movies I recommend, so if you're looking for a spy thriller type night, those are the movies I'll recommend, and thanks everybody. And uh, trying to keep doing the videos, uh, I am trying to get caught up, uh, I'm still behind, uh, but uh, tonight when I saw that I was in a spy mode, I was like, you know what, I can do that for tonight's movies. And uh, so that's it, have a good one, and see ya sometime.